Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Please take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. And also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. And I do thank you very much. So let's begin this reading. This is a reading, it's very important. It is a channeled reading with spirit. And this is dedicated to the sign of Virgo because it is a channeled reading. Now, Spirit has some very important warnings to come and give you. So, with no further ado, let's just turn these cards over and let's give you these messages. Again, if there's only two messages out of the four who, you know, resonate with you, then those are yours. Leave the other ones aside. So, we have I Am Kali. We have Sewer Mermaid. Lady with a Bosch Egg, and Angel of Time. So we're going to begin with I'm Kali, and this is from Death Comes Rebirth. Working with Kali is extremely powerful, but it is work that we all do, and all must do. Now when you receive this message, you are working with the energy of the fire, of the dancing mother goddess, who will teach you how to go through the change that you have been resisting and feeling was just too much and who will purify and who will change everything. You must not stay still with this type of energy. Movement is essential for working with this spirit and her fierce nature is in fact a test of your own strength. Can you do what needs to be done and still dance? Can you rejoice in the purification of stale energy? Can you walk forward without hesitating? Can you say yes, yes to what will come to you on the other side of Cali's fire? And you, and will you wear your lessons proudly as she does her necklace, let's say, and know that this death is an incarnation within an incarnation, a new life within this lifetime, born of fire. So we're going to move on over to the following message. So this is all about your rebirth. We're going to go and see Sewer Mermaid over here. And this is your sensuality is beautiful. Now, this message is here to show you how to believe in yourself, that you are attractive, you are beautiful, you are worthy of love, you are worthy of respect. This is about showing you that your body has a place of health, of delight, of strength, and that will never die or go away, no matter what you have been told, no matter what you have told yourself, and no matter what your society has told you. This is about cleaning up your physical and your mental acts. It's about loving all aspects of the physical self. Let us not criticize and hate ourselves. No matter our size, our shape, our differences, we are all unique expressions of the divine. And that truth must certainly apply to you. Let us not be ashamed anymore. Let us celebrate who we are and learn to love the differences and be grateful for all that we have and will be. So part of you, uh, a part of you that is natural and beautiful, and most likely your body and your appearance has been influenced by thoughts, by ideas about it being unworthy, unhealthy, could even go to the word, let's say, dirty. A part of you has had to evolve and exist in less than healthy ways. It is time to clean up your act, not of your natural look looks, but of the way that you have thought about yourself. Something beautiful has been treated badly, and it is now up to you to begin to reframe your ideas, your thoughts, and therefore your experiences altogether of yourself. Your body, your worth, your ability to attract others, and to see yourself as worthy of love. 
of respect and of consideration. Let the strong survivor mermaid show you how to love yourself and your appearance again and to rise above that rubbish and that stink of negative conditioning that is regarding your beautiful body and unique self. You are beautiful and very worth living. This is the only truth that must be told at this very time. And now we're going to go and see Lady with a Bosch Egg. And this is about ancient wisdom. It may feel to you that you're receiving wisdom right now from ancient sources and that some of its energy may feel somewhat unfamiliar to you, even dark I would say. But it is likely that you are receiving messages from times when people like you, misfits and mystics, were oppressed and punished for their natural gifts. So you need to explore at this time something to do with uh, the Renaissance or medieval times and understand that the knowledge was brought through to you. So it's a very fortunate for being living in very fortunate times, but you need to keep it safe. You need to learn all that you can. You need to explore the esoteric symbology, the history and the spirituality of it. You must know that while you are safe, you may wish to keep silent about certain practices of yours. And to conclude, we have, you're working too hard. So this is with the Angel of Time. I'm getting right to the straight to the point here because someone really has to tell you, stop giving so much to your work all the time, your energy, your passion, take better care of your health. This is the time to fulfill all of those promises that you've made to yourself but barely made even the effort to keep. Meditate, eat well, take up gentle exercises and change unhealthy emotional patterns that are compromising your well-being. These are the challenges that you need to set for yourself. Gaze into a candle's flame, write down one true thing that you love about all of your friends and pay close attention to all of the message your body sends you. Then make the changes, make the changes you know it needs and I thank you in advance for a very happy because you are going to make the world a far better place just by doing that. So really it is time for you to break from mechanical, technical work it is more needed. Please take breaks from electronic devices, computers, cell phones, iPods, clocks, watches. It is time to simply rest in nature's embrace. Swim into the ocean, float into the lake, walk in the forest, camping, hiking, gardening, whatever it is, okay? It is time to unwind the tightly coiled springs and to detach from all of the mechanics and deadlines and immerse yourself into nature's time and truth. And the angel of time tells you to do this now. And so this, my dear friends Virgo, does conclude your reading. So from death comes rebirth, working too hard. We have your sensuality is rebirth is um, beautiful. And we're speaking also about ancient wisdom. So I do hope they're going to be able to take some of these warnings and apply them onto your path. I do wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see each other tomorrow with a new message. Many blessings to you.